Hey guys, this is Kaisi. Today we have another installment in the sex question series. This is different from the advanced sex ed series because this is where you guys get to give me information and I get a break from teaching you. Um, today's topic is pornography. Now before we get into it, please remember that whenever we discuss questions, I ask that you show respect to me and not only to me, but that you show respect to everyone else answering questions. Comments that don't show respect or that are crude or, or rude or just otherwise nasty won't get approved. Anyway, I have several questions for you guys and then I have some information I want to give you. These are the questions first and then I'll go a little more in depth. The questions are, how do you define pornography? Do you think that porn can sometimes be good, therapeutic, and healthy? If so, what qualities make it such? Do you think that porn can sometimes be bad, harmful, or unhealthy? If so, what qualities make it such? Please be sure when you leave your comments to leave your gender and your age. And please do not send this to my inbox. Leave it as comments, even if you have to make it, break it up into like three separate comments. Think about it. Write all your thoughts and then try and make it really concise. And try and leave all your thoughts here on the comment section. I don't know how many of you guys know this, but not even the Supreme Court has been able to make a ruling on what a good definition of pornography can be. So some of you guys might be saying, oh, well, that's easy. I know the answer. But you might want to stop and think about it a little deeper. If not even the Supreme Court, and for those of you guys who don't know, that's as high as you can go legally in the U.S. Um... You have state supreme courts, and then I think you have um, divisions of the country, and then you have the U.S. Supreme Court. Not even the U.S. Supreme Court has been able to make a statement on what pornography is. So think carefully about, about that, that question. Give it some time. Don't answer right away. Let it mull over in your mind. What defines pornography? What makes it separate from erotica? What makes it separate from art? What makes it uniquely pornographic? And once something is pornographic, is it healthy or is it unhealthy? Is it always unhealthy? Is it always healthy? Maybe, and I think this is the case with most things, there can be a mixture. So what makes some porn healthy and what makes some porn unhealthy? What qualities do you find in unhealthy pornography and what qualities do you find in healthy pornography? I just want you guys to think about that and to give me your answers. I have some thoughts on it. I used to be extremely pro-pornography. Um, I think it was part of my rebellion, part of my feminism, for, part of my just extreme sexuality. Um, you know, growing up in a very conservative Christian environment, it was kind of a way to say, I disagree with all you guys. Go porn, you know? And then a couple of years ago, I went the exact opposite way and I was like, porn is so unhealthy and it's just destroying our society and et cetera, et cetera. And lately, I have been forced to think about it a little deeper. I, th I think my definition has always been, although I'm going to have to think about it further, that porn is any media that their express purpose is to arouse the viewer. 
but if I step back and think about that, arousing a viewer isn't innately bad. Um, what about if it's used by a married couple to arouse a married couple? Is that bad? Does it draw away from the intimacy or does it create intimacy? Do some types of pornography draw away from intimacy while some types create intimacy? It's a pretty complex question when you actually start breaking it down. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that question and I'm looking forward to your responses because um, I'm still trying to break this all down myself. And I'm sure as life goes on, I'll continue to change my thoughts and opinions on it as we go along. But um, for now, I'm really trying to, to take a deeper look at it all. So I'm really interested in hearing what your guys' thoughts are as my viewers. Again, please um, indicate your gender and your age when you answer. So a recap, the three questions are, how do you define pornographic material? Do you think that porn can sometimes be good, therapeutic, and or healthy? And if so, what qualities make it so? Do you think that porn can sometimes be bad, harmful, and or unhealthy, and if so, what qualities make it such? So those are the three questions, and I am really looking forward to hearing from you guys, and I think that this is going to be a multi-part series, so um, we'll just kind of try and go a little deeper each time. So anyway, um... Thank you guys ahead of time for responding, for giving me your input, and I really look forward to it. Again, please leave it here in the comment section, and do not send it to my inbox. Alright, I love you all, and um, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Mwah.